Questions to ask when applying Scripture. There is more to the Christian life than just reading a Bible passage and checking off that it has been read. Jesus told us that we aren't to be just hearers or readers of the Word, but doers of it. To be a doer of the Word, it helps to ask questions, some key questions, while reading the Word. What sin do I need to confess? Pray, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me. As we read the Bible, God will point out that which needs to be confessed in our own lives. Is there an attitude that needs to be changed? What needs to be transformed? When our attitude does not match the mind and the attitude of Christ, it needs to be adjusted. As we read and answer this question, God nudges us about attitudes to be changed and how we need to be transformed to become more like Him. What passage needs to be applied or example followed? Sometimes it's clear that a passage needs to be applied to our lives. Perhaps we are grieving the loss of a loved one, and we come across 1 Thessalonians 4, 13-18. When we are struggling, we remind ourselves how the Lord describes death like sleep and that loved ones who have put their faith in Christ will be with Jesus when He returns to the earth. Perhaps we're struggling with depression and we apply the example of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 and 22 to our situation. Throughout our lifetimes, we're going to be applying passages and lessons learned from many biblical examples. What action do I need to take? No matter what particular issues we face at various points in life, as we read the Scripture, we are constantly determining what actions the Lord would have us to take. Let's try this out with Philippians 4. Think about those questions on the bookmark that we shared at nafwb.org slash Jeremiah 29. What did the passage mean to the people who received it the first time? The original recipients of the letter probably sensed that Paul was telling them to get along and be content. Well, what's the timeless principle? Clearly, there is a need for us to labor together and lean on the Lord and be content. What steps should you take to apply the passage? Everyone is going to go through difficult times and need God's peace. This could be a relationship problem, fear about our health, job, or pandemic. How could I specifically apply this passage? Well, focus specifically on the section in verses 4 to 9. How do I apply verse 4? Rejoice in the Lord always. Well, begin the day rejoicing in the character of God, regardless of circumstances. Verse 5 reminds us that God is close to us and that we should be gentle. I apply the passage by reminding myself that no matter what happens, God is near. When I read verse 6, I am reminded not to worry about anything, but instead pray to God about everything, starting with thanksgiving. I can pray about my concerns. I have about my family, my work, or school, anything. As soon as something concerns me, I take it to the Lord. Verse 7 tells me the result will be peace. Now I may experience terrible stress, so this peace passeth all understanding. Others may not understand it, but it comes from and through Christ Jesus. The key to this peace is found in verse 8, where I am told to think about things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, virtuous, and praiseworthy. So I must not dwell on my fear or a problem. I must focus my thoughts. Do you know anyone who does that? In verse 9, Paul told the Philippians that if they would do the things they had learned, received, heard, and seen him do, the result would be peace. For us, we think of those godly people in our lives who we have watched endure stress, pain, or some other type of upheaval. Think about how they handled their situation according to Scripture and experienced this peace Paul described. Then understand that we too can experience this same type of peace.
As we think about applying scripture, we begin to understand why it truly is the key to a successful life. What are you dealing with today? Find a passage of scripture or an example there that deals with the issue and apply that passage to your life.